Hello, I am Bruce. I'm Mike. And this is Eastern Slopes. And today we're gonna to go out on a little outdoor adventure. Um, I'm not gonna predestine what we're gonna find or what we're gonna do. At the end of the video, you'll see what we found, what we did. Hopefully we come out with some uh, shed antlers. So this is Eastern Slopes. We want you to see what we see. So come join us. Let's show you the sights. There you go down here, eh? Game trails. But that way and this way. Look at that pile of deer hair right there. So if you, if you come this way, follow that trail right up to your right, and I'll go, I'll take this trail. What are you seeing? Oh. <laughs> See out to my left here. Great big huge field. Where would I go if I was a moose? I'd probably be like me. I'd be undecisive. It's just so many incredible places to go. There's feed up here, there's shelter, there's up on high spots so you watch catch the updrafts, everything's coming. It's so nice up here. I'm gonna venture to say elk. Some smaller rubs over here, which would be deer. size of that rub. I'd say we're uh, in moose country. Say that 
slavery. It's definitely help. Yeah. It's another little skull. It might be a little buck. And I broke out onto another open meadow. And there's just trails snaking throughout here all over the place. No other game trails because there's no uh, no signs of livestock in here. There's droppings all over. wish I could figure out where the trails are going and where they're coming from. It just seems like such awesome habitat. Every time we go through the trees and break into a new area, it's like, wow, I don't want to stop. But there does come a kind of time when we have to uh, decision to turn back. I think I'm just going to meander through here just a little bit. see why they would go anywhere else. Let's uh, work the perimeter of this oil lease and let's go in and see what seems to anything on it. Try on the other side. What you got there Mike? See it. Just the top. Probably just a small doe. <laughs> well, we're finding bones. A lot of rubs, a lot of droppings. A lot of bones that we're not looking for. But sheds just don't want us to find them. CSI out here. There's death everywhere. So which way do we which way do we head here? We're gonna go up this way a little bit farther and kind of get in behind that well site and head back to yeah this well site right over here because the car is back over here somewhere. <laughs> so we'll turn around 
and we'll head her that way. Making sure we have everything. I've come to a conclusion, Mike. This is it. <laughs> I'm good at hunting. I'm not so good at shed hunting. I can't believe there's nothing here. Or we've overlooked it. This? Eh? Didn't overlook this. Yeah, well, it stuck out like a sore thumb. It was bright white. Look at me. Originally. Three? Yeah, it's hard to say. There might have been, might have been a small one coming off of here. Could be a mean, could be a mean deer. Deer, anyways. The amount of sh uh, not sheds, but the amount of rubs that we found. The amount of dead animals we found. I mean, that proves that there's animals here. Let's keep plugging back towards the car. Maybe we're just in the wrong spot and back towards the car is where they all are. So there's a line of flagging tape up here. Starting right there. And right there. Right there, from my experience, that's going to lead me either to a tree stand location or an area where somebody shot something. Where is it? Right there. Right there. How old that is. Rickety old seat. I don't think I'd want to sit on it. Maybe the seat's really sturdy, it's just the guy likes to sit crooked. What's that? Not terrible. I think we're doing it wrong. What's that? Shed head, shed hunt from above. <laughs> Because I like to get up out of the line of sight. I don't know if we find anything more. Well, like I said, let's start heading her back. There's no birds, there's no squirrels, there's no deer, there's no moose, there's no elk. Like you it's said. Sort of a zombie movie. You go out in the forest and there's no sign of life and you come back and there's no sign of life in civilization either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Long ways to go. And a big hill to climb. We're <laughs> opening the surprise. <laughs> a random Tupperware under a tree. 
Hold your breath because it might stink. I think it's one of those geocaches. Is that a geocache? Damn. There you go. Put it back. Uh-oh. What? I don't know where. Is that what it is? It's a geocache? <laughs> I think so. Toothpicks. Oh, yeah. What is, what's the book say? The last date was what? 2019? 2019. All the way back to September 16th, 2014. <laughs> Get out here a while. Well, put it back in, seal it up. Try and put it back to where I found it. Toss it back where you found it. Yeah, I don't know if I can. No. Probably as long as it's uh, pretty close, eh? That's weird to find something that no human has touched since the pandemic. <laughs> and you found it without a GPS. Well, we fought our way back to the car. I guess that about concludes our little adventure for the day. Found some really awesome country. Lots of sign, but Seasonal sign. Did pick up one shed. Found uh, like a whole episode of CSI out there. Found what? One, two, two full dead kills, a partial, and two or three, uh, two or three skulls. Yeah. If not more. <laughs> That's the ones that we saw anyways. <laughs> so we went on this property. There was three quarters of land. We maybe covered one quarter of it. One quarter. That's a lot of acres. <laughs> to find that. That, my friends, is going on my wall. Anyways, I'm Bruce. I'm Mike. It's been another episode of Eastern Slopes. We uh, hope that we were able to bring something to uh, keep you entertained. Shoot us a comment if you like what you saw. Shoot us a comment if you've got suggestions. We're out here in central Alberta doing whatever. Shed hunting, walks, camping, cruising, bike season starts. It's already started. Yeah, well, <laughs> let's get your bike ready and we'll take you on some tours. See you next time. Bye.